Hey folks, how's it going? Got a surprise for you tonight, Everyday KT415. Good friend of mine, Chris Garrier is here. Hello. And uh, as most of you know, we're in the middle of an apocalypse here in New England. We had a disaster storm, basically a hurricane in the middle of winter. There are more trees down than standing, as far as I can tell. Most of the power lines are down. I think we're at about 95% uh, people in town have no power. The next town over has 100% people with no juice. We are in the Stone Age. If you've ever seen Mad Max and wondered what it looks like in the woods, come here. This we, we have that. The whole place is just destroyed. So, Chris. He's been what? Chris is a friend of mine. I've known him for 20, 30 years. Since sometime, I think, Seventh in the grade. 80s. Seventh grade. So that'd be the 80s. Um, what are you going to talk about? I'm going to talk about... Actually, I never met KT before. He just said he had Wi-Fi, so I want to show up and use it today. <laughs> We're going to talk about neighbors helping neighbors. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we talked about this a lot. Um, you know, getting off your ass, going out there and helping people. And, you know, most of you know that's kind of my deal. You know, you get out there. If you see somebody in need, you go you help them. And I believe Chris here ran out of beer. I did. <laughs> I had no beer, and I had no power to chill my beer. So we were in And I have both. Well, I had one, and the, the other was right up the street. So we made that happen. But... He has a good point, helping neighbors. All of you know that have been watching for very much of any time, if you've got a friend who needs legitimate help, you get off your ass and go help them. It's just the way things are because you know that it's going to happen to you as well. And I know I'm not wearing pants. Why? Because pant, kilts and chainsaws don't mix. It's just a fact. And when there's 90 mile an hour gusts of wind, while I'm sure a great many of you think that that would be really cool to be the observer, the observee, no, it happened. 90 mile an hour winds with kilts, no. So, helping neighbors. Helping neighbors, helping family. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. That, that's, that's the thing. That's why he's here tonight. Yeah. Because, well, he wanted to, uh, actually, they wanted to steal our Wi-Fi. Not steal, but borrow. And we're like, hey, we're having dinner. Come on over. He's going to return it. Yeah. He, yeah, he's going to give me back all my Wi-Fi minutes or whatever that might be. I don't know. Um, but it's a good, but he, he does bring up a good point. You have to make sure your, your friends and your family, the folks that live around you, near you, if you can help them, you do that. It doesn't matter what that thing is that you do. It could be cutting a tree so they can get in their driveway. It could be offering them Wi-Fi because they have a cool show that they want to watch. Could but be letting them use the hose to get some water. It could be hooking up the hose because somebody's water pump is busted and they need water. It happens. It doesn't matter. You, you do what you can. Because as I told someone else online on Facebook earlier, it takes a village if you want to do things right. Doing it yourself, sure, you might get it done. But it's not going to get the job done the way it should be done. It takes everybody working together, fixing the problem. Right now, it's a, it's it's an apocalypse around here. There's people running around, chainsaws in the back of the trucks, like, oh, there's a tree, I'm going to go cut that, because it's in the way. Not because they're getting paid for it, not because it's their yard, because it's in the way. End of discussion, boom, tree's there, boom. Five minutes later, boom, tree's gone. And life is good. Um, I do I want to say thanks to all the folks out there in Rochester, Mary, Metapoise, and all up and down the New, in the New England area who are out there tonight busting their ass trying to restore power, restore heat, restore all of the things that are completely screwed up. Fixing it all. All the police, the fire department, all the tree guys, all the folks with the, uh, the electric. There's a lot of people who aren't with their families because they're helping other families. Oh, geez. I was talking to somebody this afternoon. She's out there in a tractor trying to clear out a tree in her yard. And I'm like, you want some help? She's like, no, my husband will be here from the fire department here in a few minutes. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, this guy's been busting his ass for at least 24 hours straight. And he's going to come home to this? And he's like, and, and of course, she's like, nope, I'm, we're good. I'm like, all right, that's fine. But this guy has been busting his ass all day, making sure that folks like me, Chris, and whomever else have the things that they want. Not what they need, just the things that they want. Electricity, it's good to have if you need it, but you can get by for a day or two, for the most part. So, 
You have anything else? No, that's it. That's it. So, hey, hey, it's my pleasure, man. Anytime. And so, those of you out there, if you are in the apocalypse area, I hope you're doing okay. If you are in need, please ask for help. Don't sit there and say, oh, I'm going to wait it out. No. You got no power. You got no whatever. It was a serious storm. It took out a lot of trees, a lot of power. A lot of people got water in their basements. Oh, yeah. If you need help, ask. Yeah, make sure you ask. And if you're in a position where you can help, don't sit at home on your one out of 300 people with power Wi-Fi watching Netflix. Get your ass outside with with a saw or a shovel or an axe or whatever. Go help the guy next door, please. Yeah, just pick up the pieces of tree that are in the yard. Pick up the junk, the stuff that, that is laying around. So, uh-oh, you want to read one? Chris has decided that he wants to read the Kiltology. So, if you don't have one, go go to Amazon, buy a copy of Kiltology. It'd be awesome. All right, I'm going to start where everyone should start, which is Kiltology, Volume 1, Number 1. Use a sport shield often and always. Your balls will thank you. Sport shield, for those of you who don't know, well, you should. Go Google it. You will thank me later, especially if you're in a pipe band. So, Chris? All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Aloha. Thank awesome. You. Aloha. And those of you who don't know, he's also a fellow scout and a freshly retired Navy vet of 23 years. Four? A lot longer than I thought. This man yeah. is a badass. And I am going to get him in a kilt. So. I will. Next time. Yeah. You guys, as always, be strong. Put a kilt on.